Our next topic will be about selections in present economy. So there are many cases in engineering economy studies where interest is not a factor. These studies are frequently called present economy problems. Such studies usually involve the selection between alternative designs, materials, or methods. So here we are not given formulas but we are asked to select which is more economical than the other. Okay, so first example, an electrical contractor has a job which should be completed in 100 days. At present, he has 80 men on the job and it is estimated that they will finish the work in 130 days. If of the 80 men, 50 are paid 190 pesos a day, 15 at 220 pesos a day, and 5 at 300 pesos a day, and if for each day beyond the original 100 days, the contractor has to pay 2,000 pesos liquidated damages. How many more men should the contractor add so he can complete the work on time? And for letter B, if the additional men of 5 are paid 220 pesos a day and the rest 190 pesos a day, would the contractor save money by employing more men and not paying the fine? So first, we are going to solve for the letter A. So we have to let that X is the number of men to be added to complete the job on time. So here we have to equate man days. Okay, so first, X plus 80. So X is the number of men to be added to 80 times 100 days. The day when X plus 80 men can complete the work. We will equate that one to 80 men times 130 days because 130 days is the present estimation which 80 men can finish the job. So here x is equal to 24 men. So 24 men can be added to 80 men in order to finish the job within 100 days only. So for letter B, we are going to compute for the total expenses by comparing 80 men on the job within 130 days and 80 plus 24 men which is 104 men within 100 days. So here first we are going to compute for all the expenses of 80 men on the job within 130 days. So for the wage of 50 men that is 190 pesos a day times 130 days that is 1,235,000. For 25 men with a wage of 220 pesos within 130 days, that is 715,000 pesos. For 5 men with a wage of 3, of 3, with a wage of 300 pesos a day times 130 days, that is 195,000. And for damages, since there are 30 days excess in excess of our 100 days in the contract. So we have to pay the damages 2,000 each day. So 2,000 times 30 is equal to 60,000. So all in all, the total expenses will be 2,205,000 pesos. While in 104 men on the job, because 80 plus 24 men added on the job is 104. It says here that 5 men are paid 220 pesos a day, so we are going to add 5 to 25, then multiply it by 220 within 100 days, and the rest of the men will be paid 190 pesos a day. So 24 minus 5 is 19, so 50 plus 19 times 190 pesos times 100 days is equal to 1,311,000. Here, this is equal to 660,000 pesos. And for 5 men, the same but within 100 days only, that is 150,000 pesos. So the total expense, if the contractor will hire more men, will be 2,121,000. Because there are no damages involved here. Therefore, the contractor would save money by employing more men by 84,000 pesos. Pesos. So that is the difference of the total expenses when 80 men are working compared to 104 men working within 100 days as contracted. 
The making of rivet holes in structural steel members can be done by two methods. The first method consists of laying out the position of the holes in the members and using a drill press costing 30,000 pesos. The machinist is paid 35 pesos per hour and he can drill 30 holes per hour. The second method makes use of a multiple punch machine costing 27,500. The punch operator is paid 30 pesos an hour and he can punch out four holes every minute. This method also requires an expense of 1.75 pesos per hole to set the machine. So for letter A, the question is if all other costs are assumed equal, what is the total cost for each machine for 6,000 holes? Assuming the total cost of each machine to be charged to this hole. So for letter A, we are going to compute for the costs of the drill press and the multiple punch machine. So for the drill press, the time to drill 6,000 holes as stated here, 6,000 divided by 30 because for the drill press, 30 holes per hour can be made. So that is all in all 200 hours in making 6,000 holes. The wage of the machinist is 35 pesos per hour times 200, so that is 7,000. The cost of the drill press is 30,000 pesos, so that is all in all 37,000 pesos. While in the multiple punch machine, the time to drill 6,000 holes, we have to divide 6,000 by 4, but we have to multiply 4 by 60 because 4 is every minute. So 6,000 divide 4 times 60 is equal to 25 hours. The wage of the machinist is 30 pesos per hour. So that is 30 times 25 hours is equal to 750. The cost of setup is 1.75 pesos per hole and there are 6,000 holes, so that is 10,500. And the cost of the machine is 27,500, so the total cost will be 38,750 pesos. For letter B, for how many holes will the cost be equal? So we have to let X be the number of holes for equal cost. So first, we have to compute for the cost of the drill press is the sum of the wage of the machinist plus the cost of the machine. So for the number of holes, that is x, divided by 30 holes per hour times the wage of the machinist per hour, which is 35 pesos. And then we have, we have to add 30,000 pesos for the cost of the machine. So simplifying this fraction, that will be equal to 7x over 6 plus 30,000. For the cost of the multiple punch machine, the wage of the machinist plus the cost of the setup plus the cost of the machine. So that is x divided by 4 times 60 times 30 pesos per hour wage of the operator plus 1.75 times the number of holes plus 27,500 cost. This fraction will be equal to x over 8. So x over 8 plus 1.75x plus 27,500 we have to equate these two equations. We have to find how many holes will be produced within equal cost. So on the left side, that is 7x over 6 plus 30,000, the cost of the drill press. And on the right side, the cost of the punch machine. x over 8 plus 1.75x plus 27,500. So our x is equal to 3,530 holes. So this is the number of holes where the cost of the drill press and the cost of the punch machine will be equal. So that is it under our topic selections in present economy. For your questions, comment down.